Katie Cranford and today I'm going to show you a quick technique on how to make a pinwheel. They're very simple to make, very quick and easy, and a whole lot of fun. So I've made a couple pinwheels here that I've put into a basket for uh, decoration for 4th of July and you'll see a picture of that at the end of this video. So let's get started on how to make a pinwheel. First, all you need is a square piece of paper. It really doesn't matter what size. The bigger the piece of paper, the bigger the pinwheel. So you could make them as big as 12 by 12. This is cut at four inches by four inches. This is a piece of our new designer series polka dot paper. So all I'm gonna do to get started is just fold this paper from corner to corner, one way, open it up, fold it from corner to corner again, the opposite direction, open it back up, and then I'm just going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut in on these fold lines, not all the way to the middle, but close. And one of my downlines showed me how to make these pinwheels quite some time ago, and I am just obsessed. I have them in my bathroom, I have them everywhere. I just love pinwheels. I think they're so fun, festive, beautiful. To set around. Okay, so now normally I would use a hot glue gun at this point and put a dot of hot glue here in the middle, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to use glue dots for quickness of video so that you don't have to sit here and watch me. So I'm basically going to just take the glue dot, put it on the end of one corner, and I'm going to fold that corner into the center where the crisscross was. Now I'm not going to crease this. You want it to have some dimension like that, okay? So now you're just gonna do it with the same corner on each piece. So this corner will now go in, this corner will go in, and this corner will go in. So let's put some glue dots on them so you can see how they would look. I have found hot glue is the way to go with these because they will pull back apart because you're not creasing them. They just kind of lift up eventually. So this one will be this corner and that's it. And then you can add any decoration in the center that you'd like. On this one, I've added a vintage faceted button that are new, and I added a piece of baker's twine in the middle. The stick here is found in, I found these in the cooking section, at, or the baking section at Walmart. Um, these are um, for cake pops, and so I just used that as my stick. And then like this one, I just tied a little uh, bow in the middle of that one. And then this one was just a piece of whisper white paper and I stamped it with flowers and then I used a red button for the center of it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this quick technique Tuesday learning how to make pinwheels and I'm going to have another video featuring pinwheels for you this week. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.